love theater. There, theater is theater is everything to me. It is my heart and my soul and my passion. Like it is, it is who I am. It has made me such a like a better person, a stronger person, and it has made me the person I am today. Yeah, I think theater is a great opportunity, especially for people who like are usually like really shy and don't really come out of their box very often to like try out something else and like can be someone else who they would never be brave enough to be like in real life. Like for me it was just like I'm uh, spending my exchange here over here in the US and I'm actually from Germany and I've never done theater before. I was really nervous before like my first rehearsals and after the first two or three hours it was just great. You know you get like into the connection with the people and when you're on stage later in front of an audience like all the uh, nervosity it just leaves you and like you just feel free and it's so much fun. Paul Johnson is a British historian. He once said that those who want to influence men's minds have long known that the theater is the most powerful medium through which to make the attempt. So here's this guy writing in the 1980s uh, studying history from the beginning and talking about all these different epochs in time in which theater played uh, a major role in influencing how people think. So that more than anything I think is why we need to keep theater alive and keep, keep doing it in all of our institutions, whether that's junior high, high school, college, graduate programs. Um, it's, it's the most, you know, it's, it's probably the most unique medium there is because only in the theater can you have the cast, the crew, and the audience all breathing the same oxygen, all at the same time, going through the story all at the same time. And I think that's probably one of the most powerful ways to affect some kind of emotional or intellectual change in, in the people that are watching. Those skills, it's, it really teaches you just how to communicate with people and just be friendly and open and able to talk to others, whether, you know, you like you said, like you're not going to be on stage all the time and that's okay, but it's just even for like job interviews or if you work in a social job where you talk to people, it's really great to be able to learn the skills from the theater to be able to communicate with people in a friendly, open matter where it makes people comfortable to talk to you. I think that a, a real value that theater has beyond the creative thinking that it develops and in this world being able to think creatively is so cr critical. Uh, I know that I see students that are incredibly committed to the projects we're doing. They learn good American values like hard work and commitment and teamwork. Uh, but then in addition to that, you develop an appreciation of the human experience and what it's like to, to see the world from different viewpoints. And it enables you to understand and appreciate why other people may have the viewpoints that they have. And I think in a society like ours, which has so many different types of people, I think that's very beneficial and, and can be a really positive, healthy thing. And I think it goes back to that collaborative process. It's a, it's a program that makes good people and that makes people with um, transferable skills who, yeah. who can work with a team and who have good communication skills um, and all sorts of different things that, you know, they want to put all this money in the STEM programs, which is great, and that's going to give a financial return to the state, but it's more important than just getting that financial return or that job return. It's that making good people and having a good community, and I think theater really produces that. Definitely. Definitely. Theater is extremely important because um, as myself, as an example, I'm a very hands-on learner. And in the theater, I'm able to learn engineering and advanced mathematics and marketing, sewing, home ec type things, uh, acting, uh, the ability to interact with crowds and uh, public speaking and things of that nature. It makes for a well-rounded individual. It gives students skills that they're going to take with them their whole life. So whether they become a performing artist or they go into any field like business or education or be a lawyer, it's going to give them the confidence and skills that's going to make them successful. So I would say that theater is important in our schools because it, it teaches us how to be a human being. It teaches us where we've been and where we're going to go. And it teaches us how to work together in a better way. Um, well, once you start going to rehearsals like 10 hours a week, you start to 
I don't know, fall in love with the people that you're working with. And even if you don't like them at first, you get to know them a lot better through the rehearsals and you find out that they really have your back and they love you and they're, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, they're like family. I think that theater uh, touches people and in that moment when you're in a theater with an audience, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on in their lives, you get to share an experience and you get to share in a story that's going to improve us as human beings and make us reflect on our lives. And so you can just help them to forget if they're going through a really tough time, you can make them laugh. Or maybe if they're really interested and intrigued by a new idea that you're sharing through your story. It's that it's that opportunity to share an experience with other people, no matter how different you are. I think that theater just connects everyone, and I've gotten to see that huge impact on all of the people that I care about for my entire life growing up with these people. So for me personally, like, since my freshman year, I have like I'm not even like my my family has also told me, but I've realized that like personally, like I am more confident, I am more outspoken, I am brave. Like I can just take things head on. I can you know like I can stand here and do this. If if I wouldn't have taken theater, I probably wouldn't be standing here and confessing my love for it. So it just it's great. Theater to me is important because it brings like people together. Um, that's how I met most of my friends. <laughs> And we just have fun. We, we take theater together. I've always wanted, ever since in middle school, I was like, oh, I really want to do something drama. Like, I want to, I want to take a class. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I did. It went, it went amazing. I got really into tech and, like, just a family. In 20 years of teaching, with the advent of all the technology, especially in social media, I have seen our students changing. The student that I was teaching 20 years ago is radically different than the student I'm teaching now. And the student that I'm teaching now needs theater radically more, perhaps, than the, th than the student I was teaching 20 years ago. Because that student didn't have all of those mass weapons of distraction that they have, that they pull uh, right out of their pocket. And everything is trivial, and everything is at the fingertips, and theater never allows that to be the case. You have to get in the dirt, you have to get in the blood, you have to mix it up, and, and you really have to investigate what the answers are. And you have to rehearse it, and plan it, and design it, and critically think about it, and become empathetic, and, and go through a process. And, and process and presence right now for the students we're teaching is, is almost gone. And, and so it, that's a huge worry for me when I think that these are the students that are going to be leading us in the future and they have no empathy and they can't focus and they have no presence. But every time they're in a theater class, they're learning empathy, they're being present, they're being taught critical thinking and how to care for one another, how to collaborate with one another. And these are the leaders that I want helping me uh, as I grow older. I want those people in charge. Me for myself, I don't really plan on doing theater professional later, but I have I have the feeling that it's really like bringing me further, that it's gonna help me later in my job or wherever my my career is going to. Like all the different skills I learn, even if it's not on the stage, but like backstage, like coordinating, organizing, all those skills are really important in the business world later or wherever you're gonna work. So I'm really sure that's gonna help me one day.